Hey YouTube, how is everybody doing? My name's Sean and I'm a recovering gambling addict. And it's been three years now since I started this channel. And I know a lot of it's been here and there, hit and miss. Um, but now I'm back and I'm gonna bring you like a story but in video format of my journey through gambling and through my recovery. So I'm going to break it down into 10 minute videos um, on different parts of my life. So from when I first started gambling, um, how I got into gambling, um, when I realised that it was a problem, how I started coming out of that problem and my journey after I would found out that it was a problem. So hopefully the goal with this is to reach out to as many people as possible that were in the same situation as me or are still going uh, through their recovery. Um, it's just to try and help people as much as possible and just to try and get as much awareness out there as we can. So that is, that's the aim for the channel and for the videos. Um, the reason for splitting up into certain segments is because certain people might be suffering with certain areas of the gambling or the recovery. Um, so I'm going to try and touch on as, as many things as I know that I can. Um, so hopefully, you know, the right video might show up for you. If not, folks, just watch the episodes as they come out. Um, feel free to drop any questions into the comment section. I'll openly and honestly answer them the best I can. Uh, but if there is a couple of things that I don't know. I will definitely try and find out the information for you. So like I said at the start of the video, my name's Sean and I'm a recovering gambling addict. My last bet was on the 21st of December 2017. And at the start of my gambling journey, I was 15. I was 15 years old when I started gambling, but I was probably introduced to it at a younger age, um, mainly through pub slots and stuff like that. So pub fruit machines. Um, my dad used to play on the, on the pub fruit machines quite a lot when he was out in the pubs and stuff like that. Back in those days, you were allowed to take your kid, etc, etc. So I was introduced to a form of gambling at a very early age. Um, for myself, I turned to gambling when I lost my mum. Um, so I was 15 years old. Um, my mum sadly passed due to breast cancer. Um, so that was a very traumatic stage of my life. I didn't have my dad or my sister around to help me at that time. Um, so I kind of just delved into a, a bad spell of depression. Um, but gambling was a form of escape. So I was able to just try and forget about everything. Um, but th back then, I would never have resignated it as a problem. You know, it was my getaway. I, I'd done it for the pure enjoyment of actually gambling because um, I was playing poker. So I would I would play in cash pots. I would play um, sit and go tournaments. I would sit in multiplayer tournaments. Um, I would play in real life tournaments uh, once I turned 18. So at the start of my, my gambling journey, I would say, um, I wouldn't have necessarily said that I had a problem. However, I was using it as a a tool for escape. So it got me away from the real world and what was actually happening. So when I was gambling, um, you know, I I didn't really have an income. You know, going going back and thinking about it. I didn't have a massive income. I was in and out of jobs. Um, I was never really steady on my feet so to speak um you know the only reason I was able to is because I I, I did get left um an inheritance and you know that that's kind of the sad thing about it is that quite a lot of that would have been spent on gambling now to this day I can't remember exactly how much but I know a lot of it would have been spent on gambling so looking back on that you you, you kind of think to yourself why? Why didn't I realise then, you know, that this could develop into a problem? And it's it's one of those things that you just don't realise. And it, it honestly takes one moment 
for, for you to actually recognize what's going on. Because when, when we become addicts, and especially gambling addicts, two, two great things happen. I say great, we become great at them. Uh, they're not actually great because we do it. We become great at lying. Now, you know, I could, I could lie through my teeth when I was in the worst place and denial. Denial was my biggest problem. That, that was my problem, is that I was in denial. You know, to me, it was never a problem. I was having fun. I could afford it. Um, you know, I wasn't spending out of my means. I wasn't stealing. I wasn't, you know, borrowing money I couldn't afford to pay back at the time. You know, so back then, it was never a problem. Um, but... At that age, I, I never, ever, ever heard about somebody somebody having a gambling addiction problem. It was never a thing, you know. There was never anything on TV saying, you know, gamble responsibly or when the fun stops, stops, you know, or, you know, safer gambling. Or, there was none of that when I was growing up. And I mean, I'm only 34 years old, so, you know, that's only going back, you know, 17, 18 years ago? So it's not a long time, but to think where we've come to now. If I knew now what I, if I could have known that then, my life could have been a lot different. But it is what it is. So the strange thing about my story is that when I was playing poker, I'd become really good at poker. I was winning quite a lot of the time. I won big pots. I won big tournaments. You know, I won tens of thousands of pounds playing poker. But I could as easily spend that money playing poker as I could win it. Um, and the real trouble came when I was about 18, 19 years old. And I can't remember the name of the website. But... Amongst the poker tables, you had the slots that you could play whilst you're on a break or, you know, in between hands and stuff like that. So I started playing on the slots. And slowly but surely that started consuming more of my time. I wasn't playing as much poker. I was playing a lot more slots than I was anything else. Um, and I hit a, a couple of big wins. You know, and I was like, oh, wow, this is really easy. This is a really good way to make money. You know, just, you know, spin away, spin away. And next thing you know, a few hundred quid in the bank. Not even in the bank, but, you know, on the casino account. But that being said, it's so easy to fall into that hole of a false sense of security. Of how easy it was back then to get wins how easy it was back then to access gambling, how easy it was to spend all of your money and not even think about the repercussions. It's crazy. It honestly is crazy. So like I said, that was the start of my journey. So it started when I was relatively young and continued and progressed as I got older. You know, it seemed to get worse the older I got. And that, that was when things started going south for me. I would probably say I was about 23 or 24 when things started getting really, really bad for me. And by that, I mean getting into debt, stealing, uh, finding ways and means of accessing money that I shouldn't have had, um, all to fund my gambling addict. You know, it was it was a horrible side of me. Was I ashamed? Was I, you know, embarrassed at the time? No, because I didn't see it as a problem. But looking back on it now, yeah. Yeah, I was ashamed of the person I was. But things can get better. And that is where this story is going to change for you. Folks, that is part one of my story into gambling addiction. So that is my introduction. 
into gambling addiction. So things will obviously take a turn for the worst. I will go into more detail on other videos about different parts of my addiction. And then once we get through that, we'll brighten things up a bit about the roads to recovery and how accessible it is now to be able to get on those roads to recovery and all the great tools that are out there to help you. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed part one. I really do. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, please drop it in the comments below. Um, like I said, I'm open uh, to questions. And if I have the answer, I will most definitely give it to you. But for now, folks, that's part one. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content. And I will see you all in episode two of my gambling and recovering story. Cheers, folks.